won a lot of money fishing professional bass tournaments by willing to go where a lot of people weren't willing to take their boats. Describe that, because that's the best part of your story. <laughs> so I, I honestly, <laughs> I don't see myself as, uh, you know, I feel like I'm an average fisherman. So my whole thing was I need to get somewhere where the other guys aren't, you know, and <laughs> yeah. somewhere where they can't get their boats. And that's just kind of been my thing over the last, you know, 15 years or however long it's been. Uh, is, you know, try to get to places that the other guys aren't able to. And, you know, somehow I've won a couple of tournaments doing it. And it, it's just, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, no, that's that's the best part of the John Cox story is pictures of him outside of his boat pushing it over some shallow sandbar <laughs> or you laying in the front of the boat pushing your boat down to squeeze through some culvert somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be really fun and satisfying, rewarding beating guys that maybe spent twice as much money on their boats or they have two feet longer mm. next, or they have a hundred more horsepower motor. It's got to feel good beating those guys. Oh man. I, you know, I just, I enjoy, <laughs> Not that you can think of no, I know. I, I just enjoy, I have that feeling every time I get uh, into my Crestliner, I have that feeling of that first John boat tournament I fished, you know, yeah. and like, it's just like, man, it just like, I don't feel like, I mean, I look like, I know I look like I've aged, but inside I feel like I'm still that kid at that jumbo tournament and you know and it's just uh you know it's just it's amazing that now we have boats like that